Hello, and thank you so much for joining me here on my channel. My name is Jill and I read tarot cards intuitively. I'm going to be doing the Capricorn energy reading. As always, take what resonates, leave what does not. All right, so we have the current situation. We have the Page of Wands, and that is being crossed by the Two of Swords. We have, what do you need to focus on? We have the Devil card. What are you leaving behind? We have the Nine of, the Nine of Pentacles. For some reason, like this message just came through is that you have to realize that you're leaving something good behind you. Like you're walking away from something good. That may resonate with someone, it may not resonate, but I feel like that message just, it came through pretty strong. I, I feel like, I feel like because what you need to focus on is this devil card, I feel like it's, you, you have to focus on, that I feel like you're focusing on something that is negative or toxic and you're leaving behind something that's good for some reason. All right, so we have your strengths. We have the five of pentacles. I feel like that's you're able to make lemonade out of lemons that just came through. We have the near future. We have the eight of the eight of pentacles. Taking a closer look at something. We have the advice. Take it. All right. The advice. Seven of pentacles. Like, like. I just feel like it's stop what you're doing and really look what, what choices you're making. Like, are you putting yourself in a negative situation? Are you walking away from something that's good and are you walking towards something that is negative? Um, the environment, um, four of swords. Look at where this is leading you. Look at, look at where this, this choice is, is leading you. Um, hopes and fears. We have the night of... Cups. For some reason, I feel like it is it a, is it a relationship? Are you moving more towards a toxic relationship because you don't want to be alone? Because because you don't want to be alone. Hopes and fears, the fears, Knight of Cups, and I feel like that was kind of like you you don't want to be alone. Um, potential outcome we have getting things back under control. The Chariot. Okay, so kind of my overall feeling for this reading is that. You're, I feel like you're staying in a situation or you're staying in a relationship. I'm not sure exactly sure what this is, but if this resonates for you, it'll make sense. But I feel like you're staying in a situation that's not healthy for you because you don't want to be alone. And because maybe you don't want to be alone is because of the thoughts that you're going to have and those that personal, like thinking about things. A lot of people, like they don't want to deal with things. And so they'll make, they'll have busy work or they'll, you know, be in a relationship after relationship because they're like, well, I don't really want to think about all of the choices that I've made or I don't really want to deal. I don't really, you know, want to get into that deep thinking and, and I don't really want to, you know, look at, you know, maybe things that are going to be upsetting me. And so we just kind of ignore those and we just keep thinking about, you know, like doing other things and, and we're ignoring what we really need to be focusing on. And of course, you have to do what you feel is right for you. I'm not telling you what you need to do, but I feel like this is this is a with this. I almost feel like with the reason why the two of swords is sideways is because you realize that it's kind of come to a point to where you have to make a decision is do you stay in this situation and you keep kind of sweeping things under the rug or do you really kind of face the reality of that there are things that you have to deal with? And you kind of have to look at this as if you keep yourself in this situation where you feel like, I feel like you know that it's toxic and you know that it's not a good, like you feel trapped to this situation. What is your life going to look like a year from now? And kind of thinking this, either this behavior or this situation, this toxicity that you, you have yourself in, that what is your life going to look like a year from now if you keep up this behavior and you keep yourself in this situation? But I also feel like it's it's thinking about looking at your life a year from now that if you leave this situation and you 
have that independence and you take that time for yourself and you process the situation and you stop sweeping things under the rug, what does your life look like a year from now, right? And it's almost like in order, I feel that if you're trying to make a choice or decision in your life, I feel like it's trying to look at it from all perspectives and say, what is my life going to be like if I don't make changes? What is my life going to be like if you do make changes? And facing that reality and saying, is this how I want my life to be a year from now? Or do I need to be in this difficult situation right now and make these choices and go through some things that I really don't want to go through or make some choices that I really don't want to make? But yet I'll free myself and I can let myself go and I can start focusing on new things, you know, and it's like, okay, I'll go through this difficult time now in order to have a better time moving forward. And sometimes that's what I do is I really say, is this really how I want things to be? Is this really what I want to be in? Um, and <clears throat> making you know, that, that will motivate me in order to move forward with a choice or a decision. But you know, you, you have to find the way that works for you. You have to find the way that makes sense to you. It's about looking at it in the way that you feel makes sense or rings that bell or turns on that light bulb and says, yeah, you know what? Sometimes you'll just hear something from someone or they'll say, they're, they'll say something and you're like, oh, it finally makes sense. Like that finally makes sense to me. That finally rings a bell. That finally is like, yeah, I understand what's going on. Because so, sometimes people can tell you things and you're not really getting it or you're not in the mood to really hear it or listen to it. But then that one person or that you read that one sentence or that, that paragraph or that book that it's like, oh, okay, now I get it. So I feel like so what you need to focus on is this devil, this, this, this energy, like this fool's gold and that, you know, you're feeling trapped in something and it's a loss of power for yourself. I feel like what you're leaving behind is something that was really good or this potential that you have. And I feel like you're leaving that potential behind and then you're kind of focusing on this devil energy. Your strengths is the five of pentacles and I feel like it's making lemonade out of lemons and I feel like it's taking opportunities like like if you see something like you're like like it makes sense and then you start doing it but it's like you have to be in the frame of mind to be able to do that in the near future we have the eight of pentacles and i feel like it's taking a closer look as to what's really going on around you because i like how he's kind of looking at that book and he's kind of having his finger and he's like reading it line for line and really absorbing what's going on around him and what's being in this book and then with the advice is to take a break, right? With the seven of pentacles is sometimes it's like, wait, hold up, you know, right? Stop the train, stop the chariot, you know? Let, let me see what's really going on here. Let me really think about where is this going to lead me, right? What path am I going down? Is this a path that I want to be following for, for a long time or possibly the rest of my life? Um, again, the environment is the four of of swords and I feel like it's taking the break and then really saying is this leading me to where I want to go with that knight being up there so I, I kind of feel like a, a big feeling for this reading is, is like wait you know before you take another step really think about where you're going think about that next step that you're taking hopes and fears with the knight of the knight of cups I feel like is it that kind of realizing what that fear is and is it that you don't want to be alone um and for some reason, I feel like that's coming coming through. And are, do you are you willing to settle in a situation that is unfulfilling or toxic for you just because you don't want to be alone? And then the potential outcome we have the chariot, where it's like taking control, like you're driving the car chariot, even though it may be chaotic, but it's that forward movement. And it, it, I almost feel like it's excitement moving towards the path that you want to move to towards when you realize, okay, this is the path that I don't want to be on, but this is the path that I do want to be on. And that excitement, you know, like getting excited, like, okay, I'm finally moving forward in a positive way. I dealt with this situation, you know, it was, didn't, didn't feel good, but I, you know, dealt what I had, to, I was able to let that devil card go. I was able to get rid of that, even though that is the Capricorn card, but I, I feel 
sometimes I feel like um, the devil card or if a, a signs card comes out, it could be that empowering yourself. But sometimes I feel like it's the actual card. And for this instance, I feel like it's the devil card. It's the toxic energy. It's the bad habits. It's the negativity. And I feel like that's what that's representing here. But I feel like with this future energies, with the chariot coming through, it's like, okay, I'm feeling so much better because I got rid of that toxicity and that negativity. Um, let's grab a animal oracle card for you. I almost feel like it's kind of like you're heading back towards this nine of pentacles here. Like you're heading back towards that path, towards that very rewarding path for you. Uh, dove, be peace. I feel like that represents freedom, setting yourself free, feeling peaceful, feeling... Um, I feel like this situation here is definitely giving you a lot of anxiety, but I feel like with the dove spirit being peace and finding that peace within yourself and feeling better, sometimes we put ourselves in situations to bring on that anxiety because it's a pattern that we've done. That was definitely me that I would put myself in situations that would bring me anxiety because that was my comfort zone. And when I realized that's what I was doing, that I was like, I was motivated to change that pattern and to not put myself in situations that brought me that anxiety. Let's grab, I feel like two star dragons here. So a little bonus for you with the star dragons. We have dominance, believing in yourself and bliss, cherishing the day. Dominance. Um, I feel that it's take dominance. I feel is taking control of a situation that it's up to you to take control of this situation and dominating this, this devil card, right? Is, is dominance over this devil card energy, right? Dominating that, taking control of it and saying, I'm not gonna let this affect me. And then we have bliss cherishing the day. It's about not always trying to rush into the next thing, but kind of cherishing where you are in this moment and enjoying each day and enjoying the journey that you're on and it's also like cherishing the fact that if this makes sense to you and you realize that you're doing this and being proud of yourself and saying you know I, I realize that that's a pattern that I'm doing I realize that that's what I'm doing and I realize that I have to make some changes and having that little personal victory within yourself and saying I'm so proud of myself for realizing this and 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 cherishing this moment and saying so proud of myself that I'm not going to be in this energy anymore, right? And it's all of those little wins that you have that add up to the bigger win. But cherishing the journey that you're on and not trying to rush through everything. Um, let's grab a whispers of healing. We have sincere relationships. And I, I kind of feel like it's that sincere relationship that you have within yourself that you can trust yourself, that you're not gonna put yourself in this devil card energy, that you're not going to let that take control of you, that you're having a relationship within yourself that is looking out for yourself and you're not putting yourself in situations that are toxic to yourself, that you have that true relationship with yourself um, and you're really looking out for yourself and you're saying, I wanna do things that are best for me. I don't wanna put myself in situations where there's this this toxic energy around me, or I feel trapped in something, or I'm settling for something. I'm settling for a situation. And yeah, we're gonna have those times that are challenging. And sometimes we do put ourselves in situations that are uncomfortable, but we realize, hey, this is not where I wanna be and I need to make some changes and move on from here. Let's grab a um, psychic tarot card for you. We have balance, all right, number 11, and that is the justice card. So the justice card is like, um, it's just, it's like doing things for yourself. That's like what I was just saying is that you're looking out for yourself and you're having that sincere relationship with yourself and you're making things happen, right? Giving yourself justice, right? Working for yourself instead of working against yourself. Setting yourself up for success, right? Putting those things on your plate, putting, putting those, 
those situations in your life where you feel that are rewarding and are adding to your life and not taking away. <clears throat> Let's grab a um, Angel Answers card. We have Take Action. And with that horse there, I kind of feel like that represents the chariot. And it's, it's about movement and it's about taking action. And it's not just sitting back and thinking about something and say, yeah, <clears throat> I really need to do this and I really need to do that. And I really should be doing this. and I really should be doing that. But, you know, no buts. <laughs> no buts. It's just like following through with it. Like if you know what it is that you're supposed to do or you have to take action with it, like you have to make it happen. It's, it's not just good enough to just say, yeah, I should be doing this and I should be doing that. It's the follow through, right? Just like if you have someone who keeps telling you, yes, I'm gonna do this for you or I'm gonna help you or I'm gonna be there for you, but that person doesn't follow through with those actions, then we start to look at that person and, and we say, well, I can't really trust you. You know, I can't believe anything that you're saying because you don't fall, you don't take actions and you feel let down by that person. And you're like, well, you said you were going to do this and you didn't. So don't do that to yourself. Don't tell yourself, okay, you know, I need to do this or I need to do that or I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that. And then you don't follow through because then you're just doing what you don't like other people doing to you, you're doing to yourself. So kind of realizing that. All right, let's grab a uh, Wisdom of the Oracle card here for you. We have serendipity. So I feel like it's finding that peace within yourself and that calmness within yourself and um, just enjoying, even though it's, it's, it's not something that you can enjoy, but I feel like it's just enjoying the fact that maybe this the light bulb is going off for you and finding that peacefulness and, that, and just, you know, again, bliss, cherishing the day, you know, and maybe finding those little things that you do throughout the day or that one thing that you do for yourself during the day that really makes you happy or that, that you know, doing those little things that, that are rewarding for yourself. Um, and just, just finding a way to cherish each day, a moment within each day that says, you know, I'm really thankful for this. You know, maybe it's, it's going through all of those things that you have in your plus column, right? Instead of focusing on what's in your negative column, going through all of those things that you have in your plus column and, and, and saying what you're thankful for and kind of teaching yourself to say, okay, let me focus on the positive instead of the negative. We have our fortune reading card and we have judgment. Soul searching will bring inner peace to many areas of your life. Looking within yourself and saying, what are those changes that I need to make? What are those things that I need to do, but also following through with them? And then we kind of have the diary up here. So it's like writing those things down. And, you know, I personally feel that for me, it helps. Again, what are those tools that you have that can help you through difficult situations? And sometimes for me, it's writing down things. It's writing down negative things, but then it's also writing down positive things. Things that, things that like if I'm listening to a video or I'm listening to something or things that I want to remember, you know, things that, you know, that if I'm struggling with something, I can look at that and I can say, oh, okay, you know, and, um, one of the things I had watched a Layla Homozi um, video this morning, and so I'd taken some little notes. So this is like one of those examples of what I was just saying about writing down. Um, and one of the things that I wrote down from her video is is that she said is if your if your life doesn't change, what would your life look like in five years? If you don't make any changes and you're stuck in this this devil energy, um, you know what is your life going to look like in five years? Right? That if you have these bad habits or this toxic situation and you keep in this energy and you, you keep doing this, what is your life going to look like in five years? How are you going to feel? You know, And that's kind of, that helps me to make choices and decision and motivates me to make change. If I'm having a difficult situation and I say, well, if I don't change it, you know, what is my life going to look like in five years? It's going to be the same, if not worse. Right. So just something to think about. So 
writing these little notes like I have the you know the notepad there and I write little things down and sometimes even on my schedule that I have for my tarot readings I'll write little things on the side I'll write little motivational little messages for myself to remind myself and um I just write those like just to remind myself and one of the things that I wrote is trust the process. Trust the process. And this is a process that we're, life I feel is a process and trust the process that if you feel a challenge comes before you, that it's something for you to see and something for you to learn and maybe something for you to change. And to trust the process that you will get to where you, you want to be, but you have to trust that you're going to have those ups and downs. Anyways, just <laughs> on a personal note that maybe, that's what I'm saying with a diary is write those things down and write little notes, you know, to yourself or however you want to do it for you. That helps to motivate you. You have to find what works for you. It's not necessarily following what works for someone else. You have to find what works for you. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. I hope you have an amazing day. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.